Hi crafters, it's Kathy from Scrap and Bean. I'm here today showing you a brand new tool for stampers. If you've done any stamping, you know you also need to clean their stamps. And this is a new way of doing it. Brand new product that I'm enjoying. I'm going to show you today how to use that. So what I have here is a nice little summer, cute little summer stamp. And I'm going to ink that up. I am using this good old trusty Anorodak ink. Ooh, that's noisy, eh? It's a water-based dye ink. And I always like to stamp using a stamp mat. You can see that as well used too. Some of these trusty stamp tools that we use over and over. So I'm just going to stamp our nice little cute little summer camper on there. And you can see it actually did get used and I've got it loaded up with ink. So if we set that aside, what I'm left with is our stamp full of ink. So I have taken my chamois out of the package. This is what it looks like in the pack. I've taken it out of the package. I've ran it under the sink, got tap water on it. Just wring it out. So now it's damp. It's not dripping, but it is damp. You can see I've already used this one. I've got some brown ink on there already. And I'm gonna clean this stamp off and uh, get some more ink. I know this sounds kind of bad on video because it's quite, um, squeaky. In real life it's not bad, but the video seems to pick up all of those little noises. So we get it all cleaned off, get the ink out of all of our little crevices. I'll stamp it again just so you can see that the ink is gone. So our stamp is all cleaned up. Here is what the chamois looks like. It's well used. The ink is not going to come back out of your chamois, but it does not hinder the use or the efficiency of the chamois. It will continue to clean your stamps. You can use it on different colors of inks, different types of inks, and it's just gonna to continue to clean your rubber or your clear stamps. So good for both. Um, I will let you know that the chamois, of course, it's gonna dry out. It's just gonna air dry here. When you go to use it next time, it could be a little bit stiffer and it's going to be dry. So what you do is just run it under your tap water again and wring out the excess water so you're back to the chamois. Very similar to using a chamois on your vehicle for cleaning and drying it. This one's for cleaning your stamps. I'm enjoying this because it's nice and compact, does a great job, and I can use it over and over again. Hope you enjoyed this tip. If you're looking for your great chamois tool, we do have lots of them in stock. Cute color, very efficient, works great. I highly recommend it. You can come into Scrap and Bean today and get yours, or you can order it online at scrapandbean.com. Happy crafting.